hey guys, we're playing Max and the Curse of the Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Max and the Curse of Brotherhood. This is a Xbox. It game? is an Xbox game. I think it's on PS PlayStation. It was a probably. F- it, was it was a, a free f- game that I downloaded a long while ago when Xbox did their free game, game games for gold. thing. Yeah, games for gold, uh-huh. similar to PlayStation Plus. Probably the exact same thing as that they put, they just bit off PlayStation Plus because people love that. Um, people love free things. And um, all I know about this game is it's a it's platformer a 2D, with some asshole kid 2D in it. 2D platformers built in Unity uh, about some asshole kid. About some asshole kid. Uh, it, it, this looks interesting. Um, yeah, I played it a little. But I, I'll be completely honest. I did play like the first maybe five minutes of this game five minutes ago and I was we were talking about it and uh, we're like why aren't we just recording this yeah it makes sense. <laughs> um, uh, no I need to start a new game the, uh, select level all right prologue do, do we want to watch this shit I, know, I wasn't yeah. really paying attention yeah I have no idea what happened yeah. so uh, you play as Max who's Max punk? Boner <laughs> Flarker <laughs> That, that, that little, little punk there kicking hacky sacks through windows. What does the M on his chest stand for? Uh, monk. Stands for might fight motherfucker. <laughs> Just looks like a punk. This looks like Look how angry. Yeah, he is. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. This kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That kid is whoa, unnecessarily whoa. strong. How did he, he just, possibly oh do God. that? If that was my little brother, I'd beat him with I'd my MacBook. I'd give him a, the biggest fucking noogie. I'd probably give ever. Him a like he giggle.com. How to make your brother, brother disappear? Brother, oh brother of mine, I wish you'd erase from all this is spell. I wish your traces could be gone from all brother, places. Oh brother, oh brother, oh brother of mine, I wish you could be erased from all time. I wish your traces could be gone. And when you leave, I'll take a to fawn. That's a fun. What the? Fuck? See, I, when I saw that at first, I was like, oh, "That's pretty violent." And then he just picked. Up. And then he was totally fine. I thought that was like a face eating him, like a pelican biting him. Okay, good one. Make sure he didn't forget his glasses. Uh, yeah. Chapter um, one, two, another land. It's like, motherland. it's like motherland, but another, another land, another land, uh, another land. Um, yeah, so we were talking about this a minute ago. What do you what do you think about 2D platformers? About 2D platformers. I like 2D platformers because I, I grew up with them and I, I can't escape the past. So I still, I don't, I can't escape the past and I can't let go of the past. So I, I get drawn to 2D platformers, yet I don't really play them that much. Bigger fan of 3D platformers, like 3D action platformers, are like my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm a huge fan of like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, those type of games. Is that because is that like when you started gaming? Uh, no, because I mean I started gaming on the uh, NES and SNES because my brother had them. Yeah. And uh, I mean I, I my first console was the PlayStation One. Yeah. So maybe. Uh... But uh. Like, I definitely played a lot of 2D platforms. Not like 2D oh, platforms. Is there a secret down here? I really there's a secret down here. It totally is. No, there's not. That's no, there's just if you that's not. just if you fail, I guess. If you go down there no. and you're a loser. Okay. Um I don't know if there are secrets in this game. Okay, let's just assume that there's not. Yeah. Um Yeah, I prefer 3D platformers, which kind of has disappeared, really. I mean, we had yeah. Knack. Yeah, because everything is like RPG now. Yeah. yeah. There was Knack for a... Uh, oh, Fuck! You missed. Why did I climb up that? Yeah, I I'm not Whoa. really sure. Uh, uh, there was Knack for PS4, which... I didn't know that was a 3D. I didn't know that was like a platform. I remember, at, I remember at Comic-Con they had it like... And all I... It's kind of like a platformer. I mean, it's a it's like the first 3D time action Phoenix, game. Um, but like that's the closest thing we've had. 
yeah. to any of these type of like or 3D platformer type games. Yeah, you, you don't get a, too much of them. There's one actually. So, what did I play? Uh, when I was younger, so I played a ton of 2D platforming games. Uh, my so like my first legit console, like the, we got the Super Nintendo, but it was. Is he gonna eat him? What the fuck is that? Is that a, like a booger? Is that just like a forehead? Is that just like a head? With, that, with one with head, no, with, with no body. Of beards. <sighs> That's cool. No, no! All right. Got See, this is just like violent takeaways, man. Like, it, it doesn't help that this kid looks like a like a like a broadcast like Jimmy Neutron. Like a yeah, like a broadcast Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Whoops. Yeah, so like there hasn't been a whole lot. Like, the platformers have kinda gone away. Yeah. yeah um, there's still a lot of 2D platformers. 2D like, action games. We got Skylanders, which is kinda like a uh, That's a toy based game. Toy based game that I found by yeah. Well, there's not too many because I feel like there's not too many because like the games that that take advantage of that like that take advantage of that kind of um, that would hurt a lot. Yeah, that would probably have killed me. Um, that take advantage of that type of engine are either end up being like. Well, thank you. Upload. I thought I turned that off a, long, a while ago, but. Anyway, I think they're just, they take advantage of RP, like the RP did, they put RPG elements in them, so you mm -hmm. don't consider it a platformer, really. Yeah. Um, and, uh, okay, so it falls when I, okay. Uh, yeah. So they do that, they make it like an RPG, or they add guns and make it like a yep. third person shooter. Like a third kind person of, shooter. Yeah. Uh, yo, you know what game this kind of reminds me of that is, um, uh, Sunset Overdrive. That was kind of, like, 3D. Yeah. And you had to, like, jump on shit, right? Like, so, I mean, I don't know. Ma maybe not so much, not, but like I said, like, they had guns. Not the type of game that I'm thinking of when I think of that type of game. I'm thinking of, like, You're thinking Jack of, like, Banjo-Kazooie and shit, right? Uh, wasn't Banjo-Kazooie, like... Banjo-Kazooie is your quintessential 3D pl- it is a 3D platformer. But don't you just go in one straight thing? Like, what, I, what I'm thinking of is, like, Jack and Daxter. Banjo-Kazooie... Jack and Daxter was probably based on Banjo-Kazooie. No, Banjo-Kazooie was not one straight. It was... The, the worlds were... It was like Mario 64, mm. but it had... Uh, I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, yeah, dude, it's like one of the best Nintendo 64 games. But you were a PlayStation guy, right? So. Yeah, I played GoldenEye and Ocarina of Time. That was pretty much all yeah. I played on my Nintendo so, uh, what, what am I thinking of? No, but yeah, Banjo Kazooie is the, is the bear with the with the bird on his back. So you know that that is if when I think of 3D platformers, I think of Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Um, and I played the shit out of Banjo Kazooie. Um, and then actually, so what 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 I was thinking of was. Uh, they are. There's a Kickstarter from a company for the that, spiritual content. You're right. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I think you've seen that article. Mm -hmm. But that's basically what it is. It's it's uh, and speedruns for that game are actually really fun to watch. Um, Quit messing with me. Hello. So do I ride this thing? Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. Ooh. The level is building itself as you go. Yeah. Cool. Um, this is interesting. All uh, right, you know what? I'll tell you, the game controls really well. I mean, it's very fluid. The gameplay is very fluid. You got an achievement. A ludicrous speed and reached the old lady in under five minutes. Ooh, doggy. Up cool. you go, Max. I mean, I can't imagine you not. I'll tell you how to save the brother. Easy. Huh? Let me describe. Hmm. I, what? Oh, this is weird. For centuries, I have sheltered this world against oh, this she lives up here by herself. She's just gone insane. This kid is so bored. This kid is so bored. He has no respect for his elders. 
Um, so is he. What is happening? To rule the world what? once and for all, he needs new energy, a fresh okay. spirit, a new corpus. Your brother. Oh, she's magic. Um, well, I mean, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm drawn to, like, 2D platformers. Like, I'm drawn, like, and I always, like, have some kind of intro. I just never end up getting to play them. <laughs> like, was it, Super Meat Boy was great. Uh, when I came out with that, uh, I, oh my god, when Rayman Legends came out, I played the shit out of that, and that was super fun. Yeah. Um, never played that game. I'm playing Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is great. Yeah, Shovel Knight's awesome. Um, yeah, man. Like I, games like things like this. I don't know how I feel about this being a 2D and like like just straight up 3D graphics. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. I kind of like the uh, the 2D plane that you play on, and then the 3D like environments stuff. I really like that. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Of things. Because um, there's like a depth to the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Ori was another game that's that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it kind a, of had it, but it was it's, it's it a little was, bit more two D. But it was layers. more. It was very drawn. Yeah, like there were layers, which was which was cool. But I think I think Ori is a good in between for yeah. traditional two D style game. Like I don't. Really, I, I'll be completely honest. Like I I don't really Ori, like the, the artwork for this game. Nice. Like I like the idea. It's a little too like. It's too Pick like it they're trying too it's hard too to be. Yeah. Uh, and I, and when I say Nickelodeon, I mean when you say Nickelodeon, I feel like well, how I see it is like yeah, I feel like Nickelodeon is a good, yes, good description of it go, because I feel like it's trying Phoenix to be Disney, but waiting. it's just not hitting. It's, yeah. it's just not hitting it. It's not hitting the spot. I mean, it looks like I mean, he looks like Jimmy Neutron. Right trigger. What are you? What, what the fuck? You can draw something. Oh. What? What the fuck is happening? Oh. Hold it. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, is it just like my highlighter of... Your weapon will be drawn to nature's most powerful places. There, what? I will help it gain its Okay, so strength. A, pull shit out of, out of places, and X... Manipulates shit. I, I think. Oh, okay. all right. Well, at least they're doing something with the game. I was like, is this it? Because I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it controls all right, but Go they on. haven't really showed me something. Like, there's a real weird far. mechanism. This, I feel From like this would this would be very good for like, the Wii. <laughs> you know, like the touch fan, touch fan. Yeah, or yeah. even like an iOS. No, not even. I think this is like a perfect game for the Wii can. because you have the controller, right? And you, I could just be doing this Stop with. Uh, maybe it is. Is this on the Wii? I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, look it up. See, see if it's it. on the Wii. Because I feel like this this might be more enjoyable. No, 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 no! 